It's a former IMPD sergeant was back in court on more charges just one day after pleading guilty in federal court to using excessive force. Body camera footage showed Eric Huxley kicking a man in the head while he was on the ground in handcuffs. As Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler explains, today he had a hearing in Marion County Superior Court on misconduct and battery charges. Nick and Aaliyah, I sat in on the quick three minute virtual hearing today. Huxley didn't have his camera turned on and his attorney did all of the talking. The only decision made was for a July 11th status conference in hopes that the federal case is finalized by then. Huxley's attorney, John Kotzman, says today's hearing was a little premature due to that guilty plea. As we said yesterday, Huxley pleaded guilty for violating a man's civil rights during an arrest by using excessive force in September of 2021. Body camera video shows officers arresting a man for disorderly conduct in Monument Circle. You can see the man on the ground with his hands cuffed behind his back. Huxley approaches and stomps on his face. In addition to the federal charge, Huxley faces charges in Marion County Court. During the hearing today, protesters were gathered across from the courthouse demanding Huxley go to jail. The guilty plea is not surprising. Um, it was obvious, it was captured on video um, from several different angles, and it was completely unwarranted. So the guilty plea isn't surprising. I hope that the prosecutor here in the state case uses that guilty plea to, you know, effectuate a conviction. I really don't want to see charges dropped in this case. Kotzman says the sentencing date for federal charges should come within the next 60 days. Huxley faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. In the studio, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News. Kaylee, thank you. A lawsuit is now coming out of the investigation into what happened that day. Two IMPD officers who reported Huxley's, Huxley's behavior are suing the department. They claim department leaders retaliated against them for reporting the incident. The officers are seeking damages in that case. You can read more about the case and the lawsuits that followed over at fox59.com.